guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale with reoccurring and special guest Colton. Colton, what's going on, man? Hey, not much, man. Happy to be here. Happy to have you on again. Uh, we invited you on today to talk about an interesting deck that you've been playing. It's a Battle Ram deck. You can see it on the screen right now. Has uh, some interesting cards in it. Interesting card combination. First off, before we get too, hard, too far ahead of ourselves, uh, how you been, man? I heard that you uh, came in the second place in a pretty big tournament this weekend. Congrats. Yeah, it was the Queso Cup. I came in second place in a tournament that had Central Goblin, Marcel P, Pompeo, and CMC, so really competitive and really fun to compete in. Awesome, man. Well, uh, well, good job. There's a lot. There's some stiff competition there. So uh, hats off, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. So we have a. Well, but first off, this video format is going to be something a little bit different. A little bit of the pro tips. We're going to get into the deck. We're going to ask you a few questions about it. Then we're going to watch a replay or two of yours. You just went undefeated in a grand challenge with this deck. And then we're going to go ahead and enter in a live match spectating you. And then enter in a live match spectating me. So that's going to be the episode format. And tomorrow starts the draft bandit or the bandit draft challenge. Do you have any tips for us about drafts, Colton? I know you made a YouTube video about drafts. Maybe share one or two of your top tips, and then I'll put a link to that video in the description. Yeah, so my, my top tip would be pay attention to what cards you've given your opponent, and then when you're stuck between two choices that are kind of close, default to those to the cards that you've given your opponent. So, like for instance, if you give your opponent Minion Horde, and you see Wizard, even if you don't think it's necessarily the best card, Wizard is really solid at counter minion horde, obviously, so you, it would be a really good choice to take uh, Wizard in that situation. Okay, so you're thinking a lot about the cards that you're that you're selecting and the cards that you're giving your opponent, and you're trying to pick the best counter for those four cards. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay. Anything else, or oh, you know so, what, I, what I wanted to ask you is: Are there any cards that do really good in challenges that otherwise aren't super popular, or are there any cards that you you have to select every time? Like, is is it a little bit different in a challenge versus the regular game? Yeah. So draft has this thing to where you're, there's a good chance your opponent won't get these cards that people almost take for granted, such as Knight, Electro Wizard, Log, like a big spell that's really solid, maybe an Inferno Tower. So cards that are that need like one specific answer are really big. So like Lava Hound is really good because there's not that many air counters. Goblin Barrel is really good because if you don't have log, it always gives them damage. And then Graveyard is really good because you don't always have graveyard counters. So just cards that are like really hard to, uh, to counter um, mm -hmm. that are also win conditions typically do really well in draft. Okay, yeah, that's a good point too because you're right. I mean, a lot of decks that we build ourselves have those built-in counters like the log for Goblin Barrel and stuff like that. That's why they're really popular cards, but they're they're not necessarily guaranteed to get any of those cards in a in a draft. So it's a it's a good thought process to pick those cards that are unique in the way that they need those specific counter cards. Uh, let's talk about this deck that we're going to be sharing today. First of all, congrats on your uh, your Grand Challenge win with it. Uh, talk a little bit about the Battle Ram and how are we going to be playing this deck as I turn on the first replay. Yeah, so people often like to compare the Battle Ram to Hog. And I think it's important to realize that it's not the same card and it's not a bad Hog because it's a card that offers defensive capabilities as well as offensive capabilities. So you should never use the Battle Ram in a deck solely as the, the win condition. You should never rely on it to get to tower. It's more of a, a complement card like in a minor control deck like I'm using that should be used as a threat at times when you know their counters are out of hand and it should be used as a defensive card. Not, not necessarily always just deploying like on top of uh, something that's pushing into your side, but mm -hmm. use it as a card that you know can kill things. So for example, on a minor push sometimes, if I know my opponent only has like Electro Wizard to counter Battle Ram, if you put a minor down before the Battle Ram crosses the bridge, the Battle Ram actually crosses the bridge, gets stopped by Electro Wizard, but then it kills the Electro Wizard once they bust out. Which is, which is really good because it's a 4 for 4 that leaves two Barbarians like right next to this tower. And yeah, that's true. And it requires further response. And when paired with Miner and Poison, it complements really well at just getting in good chip damage over time. So how are you, the offensive philosophy of this deck is obviously Miner, Poison, chip damage. And then, you know, when are you bringing the Battle Ram into the mix? And when are you just playing defense? Is it more of a control deck or more of an aggressive deck? 
It, it can be both, but it is it is a control deck to like at heart. Um, one of the one of the reasons Goblin Gang is used in it now. Originally, I had skeletons in it, but I put in Goblin Gang because it allows you. I mean, oftentimes people get really threatened by Battle Ram because if you do let it hit your tower, it does a ton of damage. Mm -hmm. And I, I've won several games that way. But uh, Goblin Gang gives another off uh, defensive aspect. You just don't ever want to put them like right next to each other because oftentimes like people will log Battle Ram and that leaves your Goblin Gang open to do so much damage on defense. And, and vice versa, if they don't have logs, sometimes they can't stop Battle Ram. So the situation where I would use Battle Ram is kind of once you felt out the game, understand what their counters are. Like if their counter to Battle Ram is going to be going to be like barbs or minions, it's really good to preemptively poison. And then if it, even if it's like some like barbs, it's good to preemptively poison Ambog to like completely destroy everything. And then of course you want a miner in there to tank for the Battle Ram beforehand as well. So it's really good to get a feel for what their cards are and know when you can preemptively poison the counter stuff. Okay, so you're starting out the matches, you know, relying mainly on minor chip damage, minor poison, and then mm -hmm. once you figure out what your opponent has, that's when you're gonna kind of mix in the battle ram. Yeah, it's a it's a very like deck that you can predict with. Okay. So w once you once you start the miners up, uh, it's mainly once you get the double elixir, you obviously have more elixir to spend on offense. Um, and obviously, with any control deck, your main concern is defending well. But like you, um, also battle ram is a really good punish card that minor decks don't often have. So like, say someone plays a golem in the back, oftentimes mm -hmm. you go you go minor and they just ignore it, or you go minor goblin gang and they just log the goblin gang and ignore the minor and take the positive elixir trade and build up a huge push that you can't deny. So Battle Ram gives you a punish card that allows you to go like minor Battle Ram and they have to waste a ton of elixir to defend and now they've spent too much elixir on the opposite lane to build up their push. So it's okay. a really good punish card that punishes the big uh, elixir sp expenses like tanks and pumps. Okay, why don't would you be willing to walk us through the second match here that you uh, did against uh, Makey? Or yeah, Mikey? Sure. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'm going to pause it at the beginning. When you're ready, just let me know. Okay, I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, play. So, yeah, just tell us, you know, first of all, how do you feel about this starting hand here? Like, what is your first play going to be? Knight in the back or? Yeah, it's going to be, it's probably going to be knight in the back. That's a safe play or I'll wait for him. So, yeah, I think okay. I go knight in the back and then log here, obviously. Take out the mm -hmm. goblin barrel. And so next thing I'll be looking to do, this hand's kind of weird. Uh, Miner's is kind of what I would prefer. Mm -hmm. But instead, Battle Ram is pretty much what I need to play. I'm going to play it behind Knight. It pushes the Knight as well, so it speeds him up. And then I go Miner. Okay, interesting. And then I actually decided to poison here. I, I got the... It kind of erased the Inferno a little bit faster and got rid of the Princess, so not too bad here. And then yep. I'll look to Electro Wiz everything here to keep from taking any damage. Works out all right. I'm kind of at an Elixir deficit. I may have went a little bit overboard with the Miner. I maybe should have Minered the Princess instead. But I'm still in, in decent shape. I have log back in hand, so I'm not worried. Yeah, and at this point, you already know what he's playing in terms of his deck. So what is your philosophy now that you know he's playing the log bait? Never use log on anything but Goblin Barrel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. That's actually so good just... advice because, you know, some people, even if they're playing against log bait, they're not sure, you know, Goblin Gang, should I use it here? Or you just do anything you possibly can to avoid using log. Yeah, so Goblin Gang is a decent counter, but you want to deny that damage every time. So I try to snap the Princess because I had a pretty bad hand there. I end up having to use Electro, so that was pretty well played by him. But yeah, you you pretty much just want to always log the Goblin Barrel. Mm -hmm. Late game, maybe. Late game, if you're going in with like Battle Ram and you know they're going to use Goblin Gang, you can yep. preemptively log to get rid of it. Um, but then you want to make sure you have your own Goblin Gang ready for the Goblin Barrel because those are your two good counters to... Uh, a, a goblin bear on your own tower and talk a little bit about the uh the knight in this deck i mean obviously it's a good defensive weapon anything beyond that uh, i saw that you led with the knight uh with a battle ram behind it on that previous push starting yeah match. so mm -hmm. so it can be used as like a mini tank for the battle ram or just to like push it a little bit faster and then it can also be used like as soon as the knight crosses the bridge you can throw a miner on the tower and the knight will tank for the miner and the miner gets an extra hits because of that Okay. Are you ever playing the Battle Ram way in the back like you kind of just did there? Or is that just because of the where you were in the match? Typically, it's only when you don't have anything better to play in the back. Okay. Uh, usually, you, you want it to be kind of a surprise. 
So you play it at the bridge. Great. And you're just it's... almost connecting here. Also, mm -hmm. can you talk briefly about the uh, the difference in this in this uh, deck in the first two minutes and then in double elixir time? So once you get the double elixir, you can start doing more aggressive pushes, start using battle ram, start using poison in your pushes. Early on, I wouldn't use poison too much unless you get like really good value. Mm -hmm. But here, um, you'll start seeing me just for damage. I'll poison even before there isn't anything, which is which is good because I mean that's how minor poison works late game. And then here you, you'll see me rotating to the battle ram, and then minor, and then poison, and that's your main offensive push. Obviously, I use it to take out most of the counters here. And then, so so it, it's kind of a lose lose situation for your opponent. So if they take out the yeah. battle ram, the battle ram like kills their defenses, which obviously hog doesn't do. And then poison, they're going to be sitting in poison the entire time. He actually threw Goblin Barrel in with his rock, which was a little bit late to respond to, but it also, he used so much elixir that he wasn't Yeah, able to that was kind of his last uh, mm -hmm. Hail Mary and, and there. As you'll see yep. there, Battle Ram finishes out Boom. the game. He decides to defend Minor, but then, so yeah, it's kind of a lose-lose situation. Use those cards together late game, yep. and they can, decide, they can decide to defend one, but if they don't defend the other one, they're going to get punished just as hard. So you get damage one way or the other, and then when you add in poison to that late game, Oftentimes, you can just like destroy all their counters and you get a lot of damage. Okay, cool, man. Well, why don't want to hop into a match and we'll spectate you? Yep. Sweet. Sounds good. Here, we'll go to a grand challenge. All right, all right. I'm in. We're hopping in. So, yeah, tell guess... us again about your. Uh... How do you feel about your starting hand? Because we can't see it. <laughs> so, Goblin Gang, it's actually a pretty terrible starting hand. Okay, I'll just okay. start like your wizard at the back. It, I'm guessing he's playing Spellbait. I have a lot. Okay, Fireball. That's interesting. Hmm. So, so I, I've seen Spellbait with Fireball. I'm going to wait until it gets a little bit closer. I'm just going to have to kill it with Goblin Gang. Goblins will take it out. Oh, hog. It's, it's it's Hog Spellbait, maybe? Or just a Princess's Hog? Probably just a Princess Hog, right? Yeah. So, Inferno Tower gets decent value. And oh, minor. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't I don't know what this deck is. I'm going to push because I don't have any good defensive cards. Okay. Just take some damage there. Perfect. Boom. Beautiful. Bars will get the tower. Oh! And that's that's big. <laughs> that's what you call a value poison there. <laughs> yeah, positive looks your trade, baby. Okay. Yeah. I think that he probably saw that poison too before he put the. He, he must have just been spam hitting it, tapping it or something. Yeah, he must have used it as soon as he had the elixir. Yeah, yeah. So it didn't seem like he, he. Yeah, he doesn't have a goblin barrel because he has minor and hog, so I'm good to log princess. Yeah, so interesting. Oh, I was oh, wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke too soon. Still a, a pretty good job considering defensively there. Yeah, really he's going to need to defend that side, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with some minor chip. Nice. And I get a little bit of damage on both sides. Not bad. Yep. And that's, that like, nice a, that's little like bit far back. Yeah, that's such smart thinking, too. Like, when you know he has to defend that side, that's when a great time just to drop off the minor solo. Yeah. Ooh. I should have poisoned, maybe. Oh, Battle Ram connects, though. Yep. So you take... You take right tower, you have log up. There's a log. Ewiz, there it is. Yep. Okay. Pretty good defense here. I may have to win 2 0 or 2 1. But, uh. It is, it's an interesting, like, log, what a spell bait or whatever. It's a weird deck, but. He Dude, has... She's going to sit in that poison. Nice. Oh! <laughs> that was unfortunate for him. Block? Nice. Beautiful goblin gang there. Not a bad fireball for him. Yeah. Trying to rotate the poison because I know it's going to be really good on this. Yep. It's going to connect. There nice. it is. Oh, that's beautiful. Value poison too. It's the second time you poison minions after the uh, after the push there. That was really nice. Oh, you make it Blocking. look so easy, Colton. <laughs> Does he get it out in time? Nope. Nope. Easy win. GG, <laughs> man. GG. I, I think so, I guys, that's it. Too. We're done. <laughs> Easy. Very yeah, well played, it. man. So fun. Okay. My turn now. It's my turn. That looked yeah, like a fun... Uh, okay. I just want to make sure my, my Battle Ram is even up to tournament level standards because I haven't used it much. But it is. So, here we go. We're going to hop into a match of our own. Grand Challenge Battle. We are in. Playing against Midnight. 
All right, That's so I have stuff. I have Goblin Gang, Poison, Inferno, Log, awful. I yeah, that's gonna... probably worth starting hand. I guess just split Goblin Gang. Yeah, I was just going to say, I guess that's all what I'm going to do here. And then now I have E-Wiz, and next card up is Battle Ram. Weird. You uh, should, yeah, you wish you could push opposite lane, but you don't have the hand to do I it. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I, so, a chip. I played E-Wiz. Uh, I have Inferno. I think I'm just going to go Battle Ram here. That's not bad. I'm just to make Inferno. him react. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I'm That's just going to kind of reload. The better him held him. Yeah, Knight, perfect. That was yep. good. His Lightning really didn't get him on that much. So I'm going to send in Miner here. Maybe, would you have done that? I don't know. Yeah, no, that was a good Miner. All right, um, so now I'm just going to reload. Yeah, the only thing I would have done different is I would have played it after the Knight was tanking. Uh, oh, okay, for the tower, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would have got, it would have got a little bit more damage, maybe. So what is but, he coming uh, at me here with? This is interesting. It's it's a bowler. It's just a straight up beat down giant deck with bowler. It looks like. All right. That was probably bad, yeah, but true. whatever. Nah, that was fun. So this is weird because I don't have any. Uh, like punish cards. It's not too yeah. bad. I would just you just defend probably if you can inferno. This is good because his support troops won't be able to get to it. Yeah. Oh, and another aspect I forgot to mention with Battle Ram is if you really need to late game and they're about to lightning your Inferno Tower, if you draw a Battle Ram in front of it, the Battle Ram will tank um, tank all shots of the of the lightning. Or maybe not with Inferno Tower. It does with three muskets. But yeah, it, it'll tank lightning shots if you need to. All right, I'm so going like if, to Goblin Gang this, this dude when he gets to my... Uh... Yeah, that's solid. Yeah, so... Then... Um, Late game, if someone tries to lightning to finish off your tower, you can put better on top of it, and it'll take all three shots. Oh, okay. That's, gotcha. That's a good battle round. Bowler doesn't stop Boom! It. Connects! Yep. Oh, easy. I'm, I'm nice. leaking. Nice. I'm leaking. I'm, I'm watching my... <laughs> no uh... So all here, right. just make sure you space out your units well, so lightning didn't yep. hit everything. Yep, well played. Right, yeah, no, that's, battle that's, a, that's a perfect defense. Well, oh, he's he's arrows too. Oh no, Electra was doesn't freeze the bowler anymore. I like know, right? Poison, getting damage in, and those those barbs go. they spawn. Yeah, it's they beautiful. Get some really man. good damage. I like this. I like this deck. Yeah, dude, that, that this deck is so fun, for sure. All right, I'm gonna put the ba the thing way up here. That was a bad uh, e whiz. Yeah, the E was kind of bad, but the good thing about that placement is that they, he's not able to lightning buff. Yep. Poison, cycling real quick. Ah, yep. A little late there. I'll still get. You got a minor hit in. It'll probably just be like one more poison in a log. Yeah, one more poison in a log will finish it. All right. Pretty aggressive here, but just cycling to minor. Yeah, you're you're forcing him to defend, which means all you have to do is get the poison now. There yep, it is. That's game. And log coming in. Nice. Not oh, bad, bad, Colton. Man. That deck is fun. <laughs> it is fun, man. It's in and, and people aren't used to playing against uh Battle Ram too. So every you know, you can almost tell uh that they're just especially watching your other replays on the on the twelve win, you can you can almost tell that people are just like, huh, how do I deal with this again? You know? Yeah, and, and the cool thing about that was your opponent was using Electro Wiz and Tombstone, which are like the two hardest battle round counters. Yeah. And you were still able to and you're still able to win. Yeah, it's a cool deck, man. Well, uh, thanks for coming on and sharing with it. Sharing it with us, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. We'll have to get you back on uh soon to cover another deck. It's been too long, man. It's been too long. Uh yeah. anything going on in your YouTube channel, anything going on on Twitch that we should know about? So I, I'll be—I mean, as always, I'll be streaming four days a week on Twitch, especially mm -hmm. now that I'm about to have finals out of the way in college. Nice. And then on YouTube, um, I've been a little bit away as well because of school, but I'll be back, and I'm going to be doing a new deck, uh, some new series. Actually, I'm going to be doing a series like over every deck archetype and the meta decks that are used within them, like Beatdown, Siege, and all that. And then I'll Sweet. also be covering like all the new updates, like Bandit Challenge and everything. Sweet, man. Well, looking forward to all that content. It's uh, You're always spectacular to have and one of the best teachers in the game. So thanks again for coming on, man. Yeah, thank you. Glad to be here. No problem. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Huge shout out to my YouTube partner, Bren Shong, and shout out to all of you guys. Thank you, and as always, take care, guys.